I understand that you have plans for this year. Share that with us. Yeah, so I am going to be running for state senate, the 26th district, which is made up about 90% of which is in Delaware County and 10% ducks into Chester County very quickly. But yeah, I'm, I'm really excited, Larry. Uh, I think this is a real opportunity in this county and in this district to change things. We have seen for a very long time the Republican machine operating in a way that serves their own interests, but doesn't serve the people's interests. It does not serve the residents of this district. And I think there's a real, as I said, there's a real opportunity and a real thirst for change. I'm excited to do that. I'm excited to kind of change the political conversation that's been going on out of this district. And I'm excited to, to represent the people that I just spoke about. You know, you spend time more and more with involved, concerned people, the more hungry you get to do this job because you realize how many people out there just want a government that is going to work for them, that is going to be transparent with them, that is going to, to embody their values and their beliefs. And that's really what we're trying to do. And in my opinion, that's what government should always be about. Frankly, right now, I don't think it is. And I think that's something that we can change coming up here in 2018. Why should voters vote for you? Well, Larry, we are in a situation right now where our country and our state, I think, is verging down a very dangerous path. And we need to start pushing back and we need to start fighting back. One of the things that I think I bring to this race and I think I bring to this area is an experience with those fights. Um, I walked into a courtroom every day where I had a defense attorney who was working against me. I had a jury whose job it was to be skeptical of everything I said. That was their oath. That was their inherent duty. I had a judge who just wanted to move things along. I had court staff that just wanted to move things along. I had witnesses that were scared to be there. I had police officers that wanted to go do their job policing. I had to juggle a lot of different balls and at the end of the day what I had to do was make sure that all came together and still yielded the right result. For the last seven years I have been fighting day and night tirelessly to ensure the right result. That's what it's going to take. You know, we are in a climate where you can't simply hold out your hand and hope for the right result. It's going to take playing the angles. It's going to take fighting for progress. We need to come together. We need to do this together. But I think when we do that, we also need to recognize the challenges that lie ahead. And taking on those challenges is going to take time. It's going to take energy. It's going to take collective action and it's going to take at the end of the day someone that knows how to get it across the finish line and I really do think I bring that to this table I think I've been doing that a long time in my career and I'm really proud of the results and I'm proud of what I think we can accomplish here in Delaware County. Tanner we're going to leave it there but I want to thank you for being a guest on Delaware County Political News. Larry thanks so much for having me. We have been here with Tanner Rouse and I am your host Larry DeMarco. If you like this video please don't forget to like, follow, share, subscribe and forward the link to all the contacts on your contact list and Facebook friends. We are signing off. Tune in next time. Bye for now.